While I love a special meal, a grand feast, and even those specialty desserts, sometimes it's those weeknight workhorses that really are the best ones to have in your repertoire. And growing up, it was pizza. We made homemade pizza quite often, and that's because it is such a simple and quick dough. And in my book, it is a basic that everyone needs to know. You can put it together, and honestly, you could use this dough for quite a few other things if you wanted to, but it is perfect for pizza. It has some whole wheat flour to give it that great nutty wheat flavor, but it is extremely quick and simple. You can make it in under 20 minutes, bake it, and then have a pizza ready to go. This basic is just to give you the essentials to make the perfect and quick pizza dough. I'm not gonna show you on this one all the great pizza options you can put on top of this. That will be for other videos. This is to show you how you can put this dough together and then do anything you want to it. To start, you just wanna take some warm water. And if you don't know exactly how warm your water is, you might wanna check it. You don't want it to be over 110 degrees or it could kill the yeast. Add a little bit of sugar, it helps feed the yeast. And some salt and then stir that up until it's dissolved. Next, add a couple splashes of olive oil. It really helps tenderize the dough and give it some flavor. Then you just wanna add a little bit of whole wheat flour. You can't go all whole wheat in this recipe because it would make it very dense and heavy. And then supplement that with your all-purpose flour. Right on top of the flour, you wanna add your yeast. Now, you're probably wondering, why are you adding the yeast to the flour and not doing what normal people do and adding it to the water and letting it bloom and foam? Well, I don't use active dry yeast. I use instant rapid rise yeast. It is very different. You do not have to bloom it in the water. So you just add it right with the flour. It's wonderful and that's what I use in all of my recipes. Stir that together with a fork until it becomes a shaggy mass and kind of a sticky dough. And then you can add the rest of your flour. Now any dough or any recipe with dough and flour you know can kind of change the amount of flour you need depending on the year, depending on how much flour you're adding and kneading into it. So I don't like to add all my flour. I add a good majority of it, leave about a half cup or so out of the recipe and then slowly work it in and knead it in. And then when it comes together in kind of a pretty shaggy mass, I like to put some flour on my board or on my counter and then just knead it in by hand until it's a nice smooth dough. Dough is honestly one of those things that you just have to work with a little bit, get the feel of, and then once you do, it is very easy and you will understand exactly what I mean. Keep kneading it until it's very smooth. Roll it into a ball. Then I just like to take a clean bowl Oil it slightly just so the dough doesn't stick to it. And then put the dough right into it, flipping it once to make sure it's all covered in a little bit of oil. Cover it with some plastic wrap and then just set it aside for five to 10 minutes, people. This is usually where you would think it takes about an hour to two hours to double and then you punch it down. Not with this dough. It has quite a bit of yeast and it takes about five to 10, maybe 15 minutes. You really just wanna let it rest a few minutes and then it's ready to go. At this point, what's so great about this recipe is if you're not ready to have a pizza and don't wanna roll it out or something comes up or you just wanna make it ahead, pop it into a bag, throw it in the freezer. That's right, isn't that awesome? When you want pizza dough, pull that frozen dough out of the freezer, let it come to room temperature, it'll probably take a couple hours, then roll it out and you're ready to go. Twirl up the dough, I like to do mine right on parchment paper. A little bit of flour, just so it doesn't stick too much, and then press it out with my hands, or if I need to, a rolling pin, just to make sure it gets the shape. This is a rustic pizza dough, so I don't make sure it has a perfect shape. If you're putting it in a baking sheet, it'd be a lot easier to do. But I freeform it and let it go wherever it wants. You don't wanna stretch the dough, because then it will just kind of shrink right back. Make sure to press it out or roll it out. Need to go on a pizza pan, a sheet pan. I like to do it directly on parchment and then bake it right on a large baking stone. But if you don't have one, put it right onto a sheet pan. And then put it right into your preheated oven. Pre bake it for a few minutes. It will puff up and get a slight crust on it. Pull it out. At this point, you could either let it cool, put it in the freezer for whenever you need pizza dough, or 
top it with your favorite toppings and meats and sauces and cheese, and then bake it off for about another 20 minutes with those. This is honestly such a quick basic and it is one I use so often. I love to have different pizza creations or a pizza party, and this is the perfect base for those. If you agree and like this video, make sure to click like below and share it around Instagram and Facebook. I love to hear from you and I wanna know what kind of pizzas you're gonna make on top of this great dough. 